The Shiny Necklace Deep in the heart of the joyful woods lived a happy raccoon family. There was wise mama raccoon, strong pop raccoon, and their lovely daughters, playful Ruby, clever Ronnie, caring Rosie, and the ever curious Rocco. Their home was nestled among tall trees and a sparkling river wound its way around their forest. The other side was unknown, and everyone knew not to cross the river. But little Rocco's curiosity was bigger than the biggest tree in the forest. One sunny day, while the family was playing hide and seek, Rocco spotted Rosie's shiny necklace. It had a bright blue stone, and it was said to have special powers to protect whoever wore it. Rosie cherished it, because it was a gift from their loving grandma raccoon. Thinking the necklace might protect her during an adventure, Rocco borrowed it without asking Rosie. With the necklace safely ticked in her pocket, she set out to explore what lay beyond the sparkling river. Back home, when the game of hide and seek ended, Mama and Pop Raccoon noticed that Rocco was not at home. And just right after, Rosie noticed her necklace was gone. With tears in her eyes, she told her family. They quickly pieced together Rocco's plan and gathered in a circle, discussing the importance of respecting personal belongings and the risks of the unknown. Beyond the river, Rocco found a world full of colorful flowers, buzzing bees, and chirping birds of colors she had never seen before. As she ventured deeper, she began to feel lonely, a bit scared since there is no one from her family was there and she started to find a way to return home, but realized she was lost. Suddenly, Rosie's necklace began to glow, leading Rocco to a quiet pond, where she met an old owl named Mr. Wise, with kind eyes. Mr. Wise listened to Rocco's story. Mr. Wise, being one of the oldest animals in the woods, shared tales of brave animals, lessons of respect of personal belongings, and the importance of saying sorry when cross the borders. He gently reminded Rocco about the value of family, trust, and the feeling of being safe. Feeling a tug in her heart, Rocco decided it was time to return home. With the necklace still glowing, showing her the way, she crossed back over the river. As she approached home, she saw her worried family waiting for her. After a big gulp, Rocco handed Rosie her necklace and apologized. Rosie, with a tearful smile, hugged her tight, and all family played games together. From that day, Rocco understood the unknown has potential risks that might put herself in a danger. She also learned a valuable lesson about respecting others' belongings and asking before borrowing. And every time someone in the joyful woods felt lost, they'd remember the lesson of Rocco's great adventure and the shiny necklace.